All right, so let me let me riddle you this. Riddle me, please. What's the biggest movie in theaters at the moment? I know we just sort of asked that question. I uh, actually don't know. I have no idea. I've been I, in the it, movies in ten years, dude. I'm big in the sci-fi. What is it? You must be talking about Dune by far. Yeah, it's by crazy. far. Yeah, we'll biggest. get this. What what's the what's the big creature in Dune? Sandworms, right? Right. Or whatever they call them. I don't know what they. I haven't seen Dune two yet, but yeah. Uh, have you seen it, by the way? No, no. I, have you I, seen it? No. I read the book and I did not like it. So oh, apparently it's I'm like crazy. the greatest movie ever. And kind of book. Thing. People get very angry yeah. in the sci-fi realm when you say it sucks. Anyway, as the naysayer of cryptids in the group here, mm -hmm. I just learned that the inspiration for the animals, the big sandworms in the movie Dune, come from a known cryptid. Did you know this? No, no idea. Kyle, give us a Mongolian death worm. Ooh! Kyle, for one dollar, give us a Mongolian death worm. I love that name already. Pretty nice, huh? Pretty yes. nice. Take a look at this. Um, I yeah, I was just I sat next to someone on a plane who spent an hour and a half telling me about this that I didn't want to hear about. But wow, um, look at this thing. This is this is like a known cryptid, the Mongolian oh, yeah. death worm. This is a big one. I, I mean, love this thing. Is that not the Dune? creature it is right it is it's also the tremors creature from that yeah. movie tremors. Star, star wars yeah with the rotating mouth oh, remember with the floaty floaty thing yeah kyle go to like let's get some facts here go to what's go. what's the story of the mongolia i i know it it's i believe it's in mongolia <laughs> good guess yeah um so reports the mongolian death worm known as ologai kohorkii nice in mongolia sure i don't that know was perfect uh, yeah that's definitely how you say it in <laughs> mongolian folklore <laughs> have existed for many many centuries yeah the first written accounts came by westerners oh really so isn't that interesting That's right in other words westerners went there in the early 1920s and there was an explorer named roy chapman andrews who mentioned it in his book on the trail of ancient man when he first went to mongolia yeah. to study like the people actually the anthropology of it all and according to local legend the creature is said to live in the gobi desert and possesses a, a deadly venom and it's a giant worm that lives under the sand What's the plausibility of this, Forrest? This could exist, honestly. Well, here's... I've always said this, and I'll always continue to say this. All of these cryptid creatures are founded in some kind of an animal, like an origin story. Sure. Right? Kyle, pull up a Kenyan sand boa. Okay. All right. Let's see Look this at this creature. Boa. Okay? Maybe go to a video so you can understand it. Look at this animal. Well, this doesn't look like the Mongolian death worm. Well, just calm down because there's going to be some nerd talking about on YouTube here. But the point is, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's our Clint's, nerd. It's Clint. It's, Clint's it's our favorite Love nerd. Yeah. yeah, Clint, Clint is I literally wish I had his demeanor. Oh, Dude, he's, he's so great. He's great, um, Professor Clint. Okay, well, I was hoping you'd see one burrowing and digging in the sand. That's what I'd hope you'd see. Okay, but my point is. It's probably founded in something like this. So these sand boas live entirely under the sand. Kyle, see if you can find one borrowing, because it's actually pretty remarkable. Is that borrowing or burrowing? No, borrowing money. Borrowing. Is, okay. that, is that what I said? It mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sticking with it. Out of space. Um, <laughs> and out of space. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, I think something like the Mongolian death worm is founded sure. in the origin of something like this. Like imagine you're out traversing the desert mm -hmm. and you see a three foot long chody snake pop out of the <laughs> it sand. Is a chode, isn't yeah. it? It's a total chode. <laughs> and it, it, it pops out of the sand, slithers and then dives back into the sand. Yeah. And you're like, holy shit, I just saw a sand death worm. Yeah. Right. It's a snake. You know, snakes are typically venomous. These ones are harmless, but you know, they're deadly, right? Yep. Like that's a known thing. Snakes bad. And then you see it pop out of the sand and pop back in and burrow and you tell Jimmy to the left and you go, there was a three foot snake, you know, death worm that just borrowed out of the sand. He tells Fred on the right, who's like, there was a five foot snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And before you know it, by the time they get back to the village, there's, you know, a hundred and twenty foot long it's death telephone. worm. It's well, the game I telephone. Mean, yeah. pull, pull that animal up again. Mongolian death worm. So when Andrews went there, he said that the locals told him that it looked, it looked like a sausage was two to five feet long and uh, looked much like a lizard with no arms or legs. Tell me. I mean, that's basically th that's, a yeah, Kenyan correct. sand bar. That's correct. exactly Kyle, a Kenyan sand For God's bar. sake, find a video of this thing borrowing. You're killing me he's, here. He's tired. He's also dying laughing. Can I have a little <laughs> aside of uh, Kyle's story? Yeah. So last sure. night. He comes here. He goes, "Hey, man, uh, uh, don't don't get scared. I'm coming to the uh, don't to the get office." Scared because the you know don't don't get... watch me is what he was saying. Yeah, yeah and I look said, at this. watch this real quick while we talk. Look at how Very it just cool. dives. I mean, this is the worst video. It's it's literally a, a worm sized <sighs> snake going into a kiddie pool. Anyway.